All right, guys. Remember when I told you to pray for rain? <clears throat> it worked. It was... It poured all day yesterday. All day. And I'm happy about that, except from 2.30 to 3 o'clock, it really needs to not rain because I have to walk my kids to school. There's no bus. We live that close, but we also live that far. Yes, here's the school. Here's the bus limit. Here's where I live. So we have to walk a mile to the school every morning, which that's fine. It's a great walk in the morning. <clears throat> it's ungodly hot in the afternoons. If any of you live in Florida, you understand. I have a giant black umbrella that I carry with me, which has seriously helped tremendously. If you have to walk in the sun, get a black umbrella. It's the way to go. So it rained yesterday. I love looking out my window. I just love it. There's nothing much to see, but the sun shines out there. <sighs> it's very dark in my apartment. This is my cave. This is my bat cave. Cool things don't happen here. Not like a Batman's cave. Anyway, again, easily distracted. Uh, so it rained yesterday and I knew I was gonna have to walk in the rain. Like I told you already, I don't have friends. There's no one that says, oh, Summer, it's raining. I know you don't drive. I know you have to walk to get your kids every single day. But nobody ever offers me a ride. I don't ask for help because I've seen people help others. And then the person who received the help keeps asking every day for the help. And the person giving the help bitches every day about the person they're helping. I don't even want to be in that situation. And the person who's getting help thinks that this person is their friend and is happily helping them. But that's not the case. They're just pretending. So I don't ask for help. Once a year, it rains hella good. And while I'm walking through that rain to go get my kids from school, some random parent who's also going to the school, will offer me a ride. I've taken the ride two times. I don't know, but it's always awkward. <clears throat> because... Sorry, it's always awkward. Because I don't know those people. They're strangers to me. And I have nothing to say. Like, I don't want to be friends after this. Like, I don't have time for strangers to become my friends right now. I don't know. I'm not like other people. I don't want people coming to my house. And I don't really want to go to their house. Again, I told you I'm weird. It rained a lot yesterday. I posted on Facebook that I was going to have to walk in the rain. And it was unfortunate. And I was really hoping that somebody would notice, as they should, one of my friends, and <clears throat> offer me a ride. And, oh my god, can you believe it? That actually happened. That has never happened before. I've had to walk all the other times. I've even had another girl message me and tell me that I should ask, that I shouldn't expect people to help me, but I don't expect anyone to help me. I just put on Facebook that I'm having an issue. If someone can help me, offer. It's really annoying when you need help and people just like your comment. They just like your status update. What does liking it mean? Can you help me? If not, just keep scrolling like you always do. <clears throat> so my friend Sarah, she helped me out. And that was really awesome because I haven't actually hung out with her. Okay, I don't think I've ever really hung out with her. We were friends in junior high. That's when we became friends in junior high. I think in the eighth grade in gym or something. And, well, I thought that lady was gliding, but she was walking so smoothly. That was weird. Anyway, so we became friends in the eighth grade, and I, like I said, I don't, I didn't keep anybody. It's not like, 
Nobody kept me either. My whole senior year, I just gave up on the lunchroom and just ate in my journalism teacher's classroom. It was way more fun and pleasant than trying to find somewhere to sit with people that you don't... I got along with people. I'm not aggressive. I don't fight with people, but I don't know. If you're not super entertaining, they don't really pay attention to you, and then you might as well just find somewhere else to sit because they're not paying attention to you, and it's just like you're hanging around. I don't know. Again, I don't have a lot in common with a lot of people in this town where I grew up, the town that raised me. Even though the town raised me, I reject the town. <laughs> God, I don't belong here. Again, back to it raining, my friend gave me a ride. So she showed up on time. I had it all worked out. We left, the school is like three minutes from my house. We drove the normal way. We turned down the street. We passed some sitting vehicles. I already had a message from one of my children's teachers telling me that they're probably gonna hold the kids if it's raining. They do this, like I said, once a year, this rain happens. It might be twice a year because it starts in the summer, it ends in the summer. This is Florida. We get rain in the summers, in the hots. It sucks. So no kids are out there as to be expected. So she drops me off and she's like, okay, I'll go turn around and I'll meet you back here in like five minutes. Perfect. Perfect. That's great. And as we drove by, as we pulled up, we passed the vehicles, like I said, and one of them was the grandmother of both of my child's friends. My youngest child is friends with the youngest brother. My oldest child is friends with the oldest brother. It's their grandma. I say hi to her. She's very nice. She's very friendly. She just talks to you like you guys are friends, which is kind of strange because she shares personal information. But again, I don't really engage because it's none of my business. I don't want to share my intimate details with you. So I'm just not going to accept yours. This isn't... No, we're not going to do that. So I see that vehicle. So I'm like, okay, great. So she's picking up her kids too. Her grandkids. They're not her kids. They're her grandkids. She's picking up her kids too. Fine. I get out of the car. I'm walking away. My friend Sarah's turning around way down there. You know, I, I'm not paying attention. I cross the street. I'm halfway down the sidewalk to the school. And then I hear, ma'am, ma'am, like screaming in the background. I usually don't pay attention. Nobody's talking to me. Finally, I turn around and it's the kids from the car. And of course I can't hear them. This child, this oldest one, as soon as he starts talking to me, he gets really super quiet like this. But he's really excited about what he's saying. He's not like trailing off. He just talks really quietly. So they're yelling at me while I'm approaching the car and I can't hear them because cars are coming past. It's rainy on the road, so it's very loud. So I'm like, hold on guys, I can't hear you. So I get over there and I'm literally, I'm, I'm this close to the car and he's talking. I have to lean in. I literally lean in like this. This is how I do it. To hear him. Obviously, I can't hear you. Up your volume, kid. Have your parents not taught you that yet? Anyway, you know what he says to me? That they had already taken my kids home. No one should have taken my kids home. I take my kids home. No one's allowed to take the children from the school without the parents' permission. They stop kids all the time who say that they're gonna go home with their friend or a friend, their friend's parent comes up and they're like, oh, so-and-so's mom told me to go ahead and take them. The teachers say, no, we don't have any say from the parent. You can't take the kid. Mm, I'm so unhappy that this happened because my kids should know better. I just can't believe that this happened. I can't believe that woman didn't know better. She's an old lady, and she's very friendly. She thought she was being friendly. She took my kids home to my apartment, dropped them off. I was not home. I was on my way to get them. My kids are supposed to wait at the school until I get them, but they crossed the street 
And the lady said, come on guys, I didn't see your mom, I'll take you home. Why would I not show up to get my kids? I've never done that. Why is this lady doing that? I'm not super upset. It's more like, can you really believe that this happened? So she left my kids at my apartment when she saw that I wasn't there and drove back to the school to look for me. So that's what was happening. So the kids told me, we already took your kids home and my grandma's up at the school talking to the teachers looking for you. So now the whole panics, like the whole school's gonna panic. Anyway, <clears throat> so I'm just like, okay. So I turn around, I walk back down the sidewalk. There's the grandma waving at me. And she's like, I already took your kids home. I, I didn't see you on the sidewalk. Um, I'm like, okay, well, I will always come get them. You never have to take them home. She apologized. She felt very bad. She said she would never do it ever again. I'm a very nice person. Like, other people would have screamed. But, I mean, I know the lady. She's very nice. I know where she lives. Like, I know where she lives. I know her grandchildren. It's not a big deal. But it's kind of a big deal. Because why did she think that? Why did she think to give my kids a ride home? And... Gosh, what's even worse is that when my kids got home, I found this out later, when my kids got home and they were locked out, okay, I have always picked up my kids every single day. It has been four years. I pick them up. They can't get in the house. Duh, I'm not home. I've gone to get them. They think I'm either in the bathroom or sleeping. Why would my children think that? I've only dedicated like what 10 years of my life to one of them and what six years the other one I've only dedicated all that time to them I told you guys I'm stay-at-home mom are children insane yes yes they are they're crazy I could not believe they thought that about me <clears throat> they felt very bad for thinking that too because I told them have I ever done that well no then why would you think I would forget you at school if anything ever happens? I just told them last week or the week before because my oldest son stays after for math club. Never leave the school. Stay there. Don't come and meet me on the sidewalk. You don't know if I'm coming from that way and I'm late because I got caught at the four-way. I have to cross the street too. A four-lane street. It's a pain, especially when people don't stop at the stop sign. It's not a big deal. I know how to do it. <clears throat> but... Like, what? Or I'm coming through the neighborhood, which is the way my husband takes me when he drops me off. Which case, you don't want to walk that way if I'm coming from over there. So don't leave the school. I told them that. I told them that, like, last week or the week before. I don't know why, but when they crossed the street yesterday, rain makes people act like reality changed or something. It's just rain. It's just wet. It's just rain. <laughs> they cross the street. The grandma's like, oh, I didn't see your mom walking on the sidewalk. Well, I hope not. It's raining. Hopefully, hopefully I found someone to be my friend and give me a ride. And that happened. What if my husband was the one who took me? I'm so glad my husband wasn't there. <sighs> that would have been really horrible. I was not happy about that. But my kids learned a hard lesson, and hopefully they don't do it ever again. I mean, they better not. I mean, I've raised them better than that. My oldest one, his excuse was, well, this has never happened before. Well, if it's never happened before, you don't do it, okay? Um, if you've never randomly gotten taken home by a stranger, you don't start. My kids are 10 and 6, so. <sighs> but yes, that's a story of what happened yesterday when the rains came. Every time I get someone to take me up to the school to pick up my kids on a rainy day, something stupid and chaotic happens. <sighs> it's fine, though. Everything's fine. 
I handled it. <clears throat> and now I have this ridiculous story to tell people. About an old lady who thought she was being friendly and accidentally kidnapped my kids. Why did she not bring them back to the school when I was not home? What? Why would you leave someone's children at their house when you didn't communicate with their parents? Hey, cat. That's, that's my cat. This is Majora. Look, kitty. See her face? Oh, she's so she doesn't she's not unhappy. Ha, you happy cat. Oh, stop it. You love me. You love me so much. If she were unhappy, she wouldn't have come up here. She's being nosy. Huh. You're being nosy. Alright, so that's it. Get away from there. Get down. Don't take other people's kids home without the parents' permission. Why did that happen to me? And a, a random person who never comes into my world was there, my friend Sarah, to see the chaos. If people were here in my life almost every day, they would also wonder how I live. A very strange life. It's not normal. Man. All right, well, that's it. I just wanted to share that real quick. <clears throat> real quick. 16 minutes. It's okay. That's what vlogs are. Vlogs are long. So there you go. I'm not going to waste any more time right now. God dang it. Can you believe that? All right. Thanks for watching and listening. Don't be a dummy. If you haven't done it before, maybe don't do it without doing some research or some deep critical thinking. If any of you are children, don't get in cars with strangers. Why are children here? Why would children be here? Anyway, okay, see you later.